Hey there everyone, welcome to Jason Explains Things. I've got a Toyota Tacoma video for you today where we're gonna be talking all about skid plates. <laughs> so, if you've been watching my channel over the past year, about 11 months ago, I installed this aluminum skid plate from CBI Off-Road Fabrication. Uh, in those 11 months, it has not lived an easy life at all. And it has held up great up until two days ago when it did have a bit of a failure so now this skid plate cannot be used anymore i'll show you why and why the toyota trd pro style skid plate might actually be stronger in some circumstances this is not an attack video on cbi in the slightest they are a great pacific northwest company i stand by the videos i've made about their products and i have a five percent off discount code with them but if i see an issue it's my job to point it out and suggest improvements Take what you learned from this video and apply it to other aftermarket skids as well. With a few changes, CBI could easily fix the weak points. And I'm guessing the steel version of this skid doesn't have the same problem. Story time, what could have possibly happened to my poor skid plate to ruin it? Uh, I don't have footage of the moment that it happened. I wish I did. I was up filming in the Cascades with my buddy Chris with, with his Chevy Colorado ZR2. Chris was ahead of me on the trail. We were both going up a really steep hill. And then he radios back to me and he says, hey Jason, watch out for the big bump. And I'm like, oh, all right. And I'm still going up the hill, just about to crest it. And then as we were cresting the hill, my wife who's in the passenger seat kind of goes, what bump, what bump? And as she says the word bump, we like found ourselves in this big washout that was right at the top of the hill. Chris has 35s and he called it a big bump. Well, I have 32s and it was a big, big, big bump. <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm in this washout and the front of my truck hits the ground really, really gosh darn hard right there. I came back uh, that night. I like, oh, I think there might be something wrong. I looked in the back here and the bolts that hold on, there's two smaller bolts that hold on the back of the skid plate. One was deformed and one was missing. And you can actually kind of see here, it's been bent quite a bit as well. And these ones up here were totally fine, but the bolts that you get access to from here and here, this is the big failure point uh, and why this needs to be replaced are these two brackets right here. These are completely deformed and smashed in to the point where I actually wasn't able to just put a socket in there and take this off. I had to find a way to get this off my truck. I think with this off, I can get access to these bolts now. But I can't get them straight up anymore. <laughs> it was a pretty big hit though. I'm able to turn it. Good, 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 good. <laughs> now, I think that actually the steel version of this exact plate probably doesn't have this issue. If it was made out of steel, it would be less likely to bend. The issue with me and with my truck is I do not want to run steel skid plates if I can avoid it because I've already set up my suspension for the weight that I have added. I calculated all of that. This is why after doing a little bit of research, I'm going to give the TRD Pro style skid plate a go. They're very similar, right? They're both quarter inch thick aluminum, but here is the big difference that I think might make this one last longer. First, the slope of the Toyota skid plate is more gradual than CBI's. So when you end up hitting something, the impact will likely be less sudden. Second, and this is huge, the Toyota skid retains these two factory braces that reinforce the original thin Tacoma skids. The new TRD skid butts right up against these braces and protects vital components. The CBI skid requires you to remove these braces before their skid can be installed. And third, instead of the U-shaped spacer brackets, the TRD skid has longer bolts with solid aluminum spacers. These, combined with the factory steel braces, make warping or bending any of this trail armor very unlikely, especially at the lower speeds I off-road at. Let's get this new skid plate installed, but actually I have one repair that we have to do on the truck first. Um, these back bolts on that one, when they got snapped, it actually broke off the welded uh, spots that these thread onto. Well, a rivnut nut tool will uh, actually take care of that for you without needing to have any welding skills. So let's do that first in case this ever happens to you. And then it'll be super easy to put this guy on. 
So here's the rivnut tool I already tested and this uh, M6 size rivnut is the one that we want to install. Here is the tool. These are really, really easy to use. I really like this one. This one's from Harbor Freight, but I'll also have one from Amazon linked in the description. Use a step bit or drill bit to clean up the hole on the cross member and test fit it to make sure it fits properly. Paint the exposed metal to prevent rust. Then use the rivnut tool to squish and secure the new mounting point. There we go. I reinstalled the two factory braces back into the truck. I'm very glad I kept them. I like to apply anti-seize to skid plate bolts so they're easy to remove. I installed the new skid plate onto the truck, torqued the two rear bolts to 20 foot-pounds and the front four bolts to 30 foot-pounds. Now it's time to go make this new skid plate look way less new. Okay, we got the factory TRD Pro style skid plate installed. Now, I wanna say another thing about CBI though is that they have a fantastic warranty. I've used the warranty on, uh, with them one time and they call it a lifetime warranty. I could probably try to get a free one from them uh, or a free re replacement, but I don't think that's fair because I think that I damaged the skid plate that's my opinion. Leave a comment down below what you think about uh, CBI skid plate, whether you think maybe just it's better designed if it's steel. I just think aluminum for that design isn't quite the right choice. So anyway, until next time, guys, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. You see it, guys? She's right there. Ooh. Hello.